reproduction in fungi so this is continuation to the previously published videos that is uh, for general characters of fungi my name is nh shankar reddy working as assistant professor in jain university near kanyakumari so we'll start with the definition so uh, you know normally reproduction is a biological process where half springs are produced from the parents so this reproduction is mainly of uh, two types sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction so majority of the fungi in the first video itself we have discussed along with the definition so uh, almost all majority of the fungi can reproduce by means of two mechanisms sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction we'll starts with uh, asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is uh, you know also called as uh, uh, vegetative reproduction or somatic reproduction so where uh, there is no sex cells are involved in this uh, kind of reproduction again this asexual reproduction is of two types vegetative reproduction and asexual reproduction so both are same only for our convenience i just divided again into further divisions vegetative and asexual reproduction Uh, in vegetative reproduction the first one is uh, fragmentation so the name itself indicates fragments which means broken tips so where uh, the hyphae is uh, broken up into small small tips on the right side we can see the picture imagine if it is a hyphae fragment means small small tips right where this uh, hyphae is broken up into broke up into small small fragments or small small tips so which is actually detached from the normal original that is a mother fragment and this every broken tip or uh, a detached chip, uh, tip can able to develop into a new individual so this kind of uh, mechanism is known as uh, fragmentation so this can be observed mainly in uh, aspergillus and uh, as well as uh, rhizophus second one is uh, budding so a small growth on the right side we can see a small protuberance or small outgrowth can be formed on the surface of the cell maybe on the right side uh, maybe on the any one corner maybe right corner maybe left corner so parent cell or spore imagine so this is a spore so what will happen sometimes there will be a small outgrowth will be formed on the in one corner of the spore or maybe cell so the nucleus which is present inside the cell will divides half and it migrates to the uh, daughter cell also because the nucleus and protoplasmic material whatever it is there in the cell that will be equally split into i mean uh, during this uh, budding process at what will happen it will it will the genetic material or maybe the protoplasmic material which is present inside will split into half one half will go to daughter cell and another half, remaining half will be in the parent cell so this uh, small bud slowly get detached or separated from the parent cell by forming a small cross wall here we can see so there is no gap here again there will be a small cross wall is formed so like this uh, buds will be formed so this uh, small cell will detach from the mother cell and starts to behave like a new cell and this process is known as budding so this process we can also observe in uh, bacteria especially majority of the plant pathogenic bacteria can reproduce by means of a mechanism called budding when we discuss when we start bacteriology there we can discuss uh, uh, types of reproduction bacteria also major majority of the plant pathogenic bacteria can reproduce by a mechanism called budding uh, and uh, recombination is also observed in uh, bacteria not plant pathogenic bacteria in general uh, bacteria there we will discuss in detail about next one is the fission so again it is also a little bit same mechanism compared to budding where in budding protuberance will be formed in one corner when it comes to here a small division will be a small wall will be formed uh, in between the uh, uh, in in between the cells so this kind of mechanism is also observed in bacteria and here uh, majority of the bacteria can also reproduce by a mechanism called fission budding and as well as uh, fission so this where again uh, the nucleus is divided into half uh, by a mitotic division <clears throat> and after this process each bacteria will starts to behave like a new bacteria the last one in vegetative reproduction is the rhizomorph regarding uh, structures hyphal modifications we have already discussed in detail about this rhizomorph where uh, this is interwoven structure or rope like structures where uh, uh, hundreds of hyphae are small small single individual hyphae aggregates aggregates in the sense combines okay root like strands aggregates are combines to form a structure called rhizomorph it is a uh, 
uh, vegetative uh, reproductive structure that is can that can be produced by few fungi like Ganoderma, Lucidum, and uh, Armillaria lamellia. So these two are mushrooms, in fact. So this structure. Uh, can helps to survive during unfavorable environmental conditions. So whenever the favorable environmental conditions will occur, again it will start to germinate and produce a new fungi. So here uh, we need to remember something. This uh, individual hyphae, a single rope or a single individual hyphae, average it can measures around uh, four micrometer in diameter. So it is uh, almost a thousand aggregations of hyphae where the structure uh, uh, will be formed. And the last one is uh, Schlerosia. Uh, Slerosia is a hard resting structure. Uh, however, like uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like uh, rhizomorph and as well as the chlamydospore, Slerosia is a hard resting structure. It's a compact mass or interwoven. That is a it's a com I mean a compact mass which means packed inside, right? So compact mass of structure where uh, uh, the hive actually this uh, Slerosia is nothing but it's a compact combination or compact packing of hyphae only okay this this will be produced actually during unfavorable environmental conditions whenever the favorable time occurs again it will start to germinate and produce a new mycelium so whenever the unfavorable environmental conditions will occur all this mycelium all this hyphae will be packed into a very compact resting structure that is called slerosia so this slerosia can be produced by the various kinds of plant pathogens like claviceps Schlerosian Ralphsi, Macrophomina fasciolina, Rhizoctonia solani, these are all the various kinds of pathogens that can produce Schlerosia. So this Schlerosia is exactly look like a mustard shape or it, uh, sometimes it look like a brown color small uh, ball like structure but uh, the exact uh, comparison is when we compare with the mustard it will be uh, fine because it exactly look like mustard. If we place uh, Schlerosia and mustard side by side it will be very difficult to identify. Because both exactly look like a brown color, sometimes uh, black in color. So this is uh, about uh, Schlerosia. The next one is uh, asexual reproduction. So different types of what all the asexual spores are there, how it will be produced now we will see. So we will start with the sporangiospores. So why uh, I mentioned uh, again the two divisions, sporangiospores and gonadiospores. If the spores are produced from sporangia, sporangia is like a uh, I think in previous classes we have already discussed again. Let me come once again. Imagine this is a structure where it holds a sac like structure. I will come once again. So, this is a stalk like structure or pole like structure where it bears a ball like structure or sac like structure. The sac like structure is known as sporangia, and this stalk like structure or pole like structure is called sporangiopore. Inside sporangia, small spores will be there that is called sporangiospores. If the spores are produced from the sporangia, it is called sporangiospores. So sporangiospores are actually produced from just now we discussed it is inside a sac like structure. So called sporangium. So if the spores are present inside the sporangium, it is called sporangiospores. Again, the sporangiospores have two types. So based on the flagella, okay, if the flagella is present, which is motile, it is called juice spores. So juice spores contains flagella so that it can be motile. Whereas a plano spores, which means non motiles contains no flagella. So that is the main difference. Okay. So sporangiospores are the spores which are produced inside a sac like structure called sporangium. This sporangiospores are of two types based on the flagella or just you can write uh, sporangiospores. So motile spores and non-motile spores. So motile spores are called as juice spore because it contains a locomotory organ called flagella. I think hereafter I, again a video will come regarding especially what is flagella, what are the types of flagella are there, what are the different uh, uh, structures, how it will act and all those things will be discussed uh, in the uh, later video. So if the flagella is present it is called a juice spore. If there is no flagella, it is called aplanospore. Very simple. Aplanospore means non-motile spores, which is uh, non-motile, and uh, it uh, spores are generally you know multinucleate or uh, uninucleate. And generally, this kind of aplanospores can be observed in uh, Jigomycota, which actually uh, spreads through wind or sometimes insects or maybe sometimes to other mechanisms also. So when it comes to juice spore, juice spores are motile since it is having flagella, so it can. Uh, uh, it can move from one area to another area by using flagella by creating a force or propelling. 
so they lack cell walls and contain cell wall apart membrane so that they, they, they contains no cell i mean true cell walls that is a membranes so pithium and pyrethrum dwara can produce this kind of juice spores so juice spores are generally uh, various kinds of juice spores are there with a single flagella with hair without hair all those things that we will discuss in the types of flagella so if you see this is a sporangia as i said uh, it is a sac like structure or globose like structure where uh, it is called sporangium inside spores are produced it's called sporangiospores so if the spores are present if spores contains flagella it is called juice spores if the spores contains no flagella it is called aplanospores we can see here this is also sporangium only okay so when it releases outside if it is coming with a flagella it is a juice spores juice spore contains flagella it is a locomotory organ and regarding asexual uh, vegetative reproduction we discussed so the hyphae is broke up into very small small fragments and each individual fragments behave like a new spore this is oidia and this is a conidia and uh, again uh, there will be a uh, resting structure called uh, chlamydospores in pathology majorly we we, we can hear uh, three kinds of resting spores one is uh, chlamydospore sclerotia and rhizomorph rhizomorph is little rare but majorly we used to discuss uh, resting spores is sclerotia and chlamydospores these two spores can be hard uh, uh, you know uh, more when compared to the other spores so this chlamydospores is again uh, same uh, it is a hard resting structure which is produced during the unfavorable environmental conditions this chlamydospore is of two types uh, intercalary and terminal terminal means it is produced at the terminal end of the uh, hyphae or mycelium and if intercalary means that is produced in between that is the difference so this chlamydospore is mainly produced by the fungi like fusarium so however we discussed that uh, sporangiospore again there will be another spore called conidia or conidiospore from sporangiospore sporangia from sporangium sporangiospores are produced from conidium conidiospores are produced so the main difference the only difference between the sporangiospores and conidiospores are sporangiospores are produced inside the sac like structure which is means internal inside a sac like structure endogenous okay endo means inside inside a cyclic structure that is sporangiospores when it comes to uh, conidiospores conidiospores are exogenous which is produced from a structure externally where uh, it is arranged like a chains conidiospores are again asexual spores that is especially observed in the uh, groups of ascomycota as well as deuteromycota now deuteromycota is added to ascomycota also so conidia uh, as i said uh, conidia are produced exogenously exo means outside conidiospores the conidiospores may be simple or maybe sometimes in branch again this uh, conidia are again divided into two oidia or arthrospores again chlamydospores this uh, chlamydospores actually comes under this conidia uh, is this oidia so we discussed oidia in um, vegetative reproduction like oidia is otherwise called as arthrospore you need to remember one thing here this oidia is a small single hy when hyphae breaks up into individual cells this individual cells are there right this individual cells this individual cell is known as oidia sometimes called as arthrospore it is very important i have seen this question in many areas so example oidium endomyces will produce oidium kind of spores when it comes to chlamydospores chlamydospores is a hard resting structure that is produced by the pathogen like fusarium and mucor during unfavorable conditions this chlamydospore as well as sclerotium contains enormous amount of food material inside so that it can survive during unfavorable time when in 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 chlamydospore there will be a terminology called gemme which means if the uh, if the chlamydospore is dispersing through water currents it is known as gemme fusarium is the best example for chlamydospores we already discussed this chlamydospore and as well as conidia so the only difference between sporangia if you see sporangia sporangiospores are produced inside a sac like structure that is sporangium whereas conidiospores are produced outside so sporangium is ex endogenous whereas uh, conidia conidia or conidiospores are exogenous which is produced outside now we will discuss uh, sexual reproduction so far we have discussed in detail about uh, asexual reproduction and uh, that is a vegetative and uh, asexual reproduction now we will see sexual reproduction what are all the types of sexual reproduction are there in 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 fungi sexual reproduction is of uh, three types mainly that is plasmogamy 
karyogamy and meiosis so the plasmogamy is otherwise known as dikaryotization di means to carry on means nucleus so here sexual reproduction begins with plasmogamy so which means uh, union of two protoplast bringing their opposite nuclei together in a same cell is known as plasmogamy i repeat once again union of two protoplast bringing their nuclei together in a same cell is known as plasmogamy or dikaryotization 2n condition okay di means two that is a 2n karyon means nucleus so two nucleus will be combined in a single cell that is bringing their nucleus in a single cell that is known as plasmogamy so next one is a karyogamy karyon means uh, nucleus gamy means fusion are generally called as a marriage so we can call it as a a fusion of a nuclei okay a karyon means nucleus fusion this actually karyogamy takes place uh, in a specialized organ called zygotes karyogamy is also known as syngamy or diploidization the last one is a meiosis meiosis is we know very well that is a reduction division where the chromosome number is divided into half and it takes place in a specialized organ is known as gonadotrophs so this is the common process in ha that happens in any fungi when it comes to sexual reproduction first one is plasmogamy plasmogamy is carry followed by karyogamy karyogamy is followed by meiosis this is a very common process if the process is disturbed if you see some fungi like uh, aspergillus the plasmogamy is uh, not immediately followed by karyogamy and then by meiosis sometimes it may happens in uh, reverse direction or maybe sometimes karyogamy happens first or sometimes maybe meiosis happens first something like like that is what happen so in general all the fungi the sequence is very very important this must be happens in a sequence so that is a sexual reproduction first one is plasmogamy then karyogamy followed by meiosis that's it right so if it is not happening in a sequential order or in a in a order so it is known as parasexuality we have discussed in the history itself that was discovered by ponty carvo and roper in aspergillus nidulans in 1952 that was very very important question because uh, i saw that question in many areas let me come once again in reproduction in fungi three kinds of reproduction is there plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis so first plasmogamy it will happen and then karyogamy and meiosis this is a common order for all the fungi so in karyogamy and meiosis there is nothing much to discuss in detail because karyogamy means uh, this fusion of nuclei otherwise called as syngamy or diploidization and it takes place in an organ called zygotes meiosis means reduction division very simple but when it comes to plasmogamy there are some types are there we will discuss because here the two protoplasts are uh, combining right so this protoplast will combine in a various ways or in a different ways we will see what are the different types of plasmogamy are there so the first type of uh, plasmogamy is uh, planogametic copulation otherwise known as gametogamy gametes means gametes gamy and the fusion so fusion of gametes how this gametes are fusing now we will see so fusion of morphological the first one is a planogametic copulation otherwise known as gametogamy where the new, uh, fusion of morphologically or physiologically differentiated gametes okay sometimes it may be morphologically similar or uh, physiologically uh, uh, different uh, i mean uh, not similar okay so here this plasmogamy planogametic copulation is of two types isogamy anisogamy and heterogamy first one is isogamy iso means same gamy means fusion okay fusion of same gametes of same size and shape but they are completely different okay physiologically they are different okay morph fusion of isogametes iso means same gametes which is same size and uh, uh, shape okay morphologically similar they are physiologically different strains because however even though they are looking same but they are uh, morphological and physiologically different which is of plus and minus strains so this kind of uh, uh, plasmogamy will happen in an organism like olfidium and syncytrium next one is anisogamy an means not same gamy means fusion so fusion of anisogametes of morphologically similar morphologically they are similar but in size wise they are different so this kind of uh, plasmogamy can be observed or planogametic copulation can be observed in a fungi like allomyces and blastocladials heterogamy hetero means completely different that is uh, otherwise known as uh, oogamy so fusion of motile male gametes with non motile female gametes here we need to remember if you see isogamy and anisogamy both contains both the gametes contains flagella right isogamy and anisogamy maybe sizes are different or maybe morphologically similarly uh, this is different but when it comes to heterogamy 
here heterogamy only male gametes are contains uh, flagella whereas female gametes contains no flagella so this male gametes is smaller usually smaller than when compared to the female gametes if you see here here there are small uh, uh, gametes are there with flagella that is male gametes so the big one is egg that is called uh, a female gamete that's why it's also known as oogamy okay this kind of reproduction that is a type of plasmogam or gametogamy can be observed in monoblepherils second one is a gametangial contact also known as gametangiogamy the name itself indicates two gametes are contacting that's what's called as gametangial contact so here copulation or combining of morphological and physiological different gametangia we need to remember something here male gamete is called antheridium female gamete is known as oogonium okay male is called antheridium female is known as oogonium here female gamete is always larger than the male gametes majority of the times okay here both male and female gametes are coming in contact with each other and there will be a small tube formed between the male to female or sometimes female to male okay so here this after contacting between the two gametes there will be a small tube developed where the gametes or nuclei that protoplasmic material present inside moves from male to female this gametes actually now gametangium here gametes are passing not entire gametangium that you remember okay here gametes present in the male gametangium will goes to the female gametangium through a small tube developed between the male and female this small tube is known as fertilization tube also known as trichogyny so trico means hair gyny means female if it is produced by trichogyny it is called uh, sorry it is produced by the female it is known as trichogyny trico means hair gyny means female okay so the purpose of this fertilization tube is mainly just to uh, act as a passage uh, to the exchange of this uh, gametes from male to female so this kind of reproduction can mainly observed in albugo pythium and phytophthora let me come once again gametangial contact so male gametangium is known as in so male gametangium is known as antheridium female is known as oogonium in oomycota group of fungi if it is a ascomycota group of fungi male is known as antheridium female is known as ascogonium because it is in ascomycota right that's why it's called ascogonium if it is a oomycota it is known as oogonium because it is a oomycota group of fungi okay so male gametes is known as antheridium female gametes is known as oogonium so male is always smaller than the female and there will be a small tube developed between the male and female so this fertilization tube this small tube is known as fertilization tube or sometimes called as trichogyny so fertilization tube is generally developed by male so if it is developed by female it is known as trichogyny as i told trico means hair gyny means female okay so due to this fertilization tube or a small tube double between male and female the gametes not entire gamete and i repeat gametes so gametes are passed from male to female not female to male okay male to female and will be fertilization takes place in the egg so the only uh, purpose of this fertilization tube is just act as a passage for the exchange of gametes okay so this kind of reproduction can be observed in all book pythium and phytophthora so third one is a gametangial copulation gametangial copulation or gametangy so here the fusion of uh, earlier we discussed gametes when it comes to here entire gametangium become one so again that uh, this copulation of this uh, gametangia there are three types of their halogamy direct fusion anaiso gametangial copulation halogamy means all content of the entire content of one gametangium passes to the another gametangium so here imagine this is a, a hologamy so the nuclear content or the protoplasmic content present in the one gametangium will goes to the entire another gametangium that is called hologamy entire content of one gametangium goes to another gametangium it is hologamy this kind of uh, reproduction can be observed in chytrids and yeast so when it comes to direct fusion here there is no passing of the gamete um, that is a nuclear material gametangium when it comes to here the two gametangium attached and become one so the fusion of two gametangium we can observe here the two gametangium are fused and become one cell or a single cell this is called a direct fusion the name itself indicate direct fusion so this kind of reproduction can be observed in mucor and as well as rhizophus so last one is the anaiso gametangial copulation that is a fusion of unequal gametangia so where the gametangia are unequal in in terms of size okay 
you see we can see here here the male is uh, as i told you male is always smaller the female gametangium is always bigger so the fusion between unequal gametangia so this kind of reproduction can be seen in mucorels fourth one is this spermatization so this kind of reproduction we can especially are majorly observed in rust kind of uh, diseases wheat stem rust that is paxinia graminostritis we will discuss in detail about this paxinia graminostritis since when we when we start uh, in the classification that is a basidiomycota because this paxinia graminostritis comes under basidiomycota so in spermatization this is also a kind of sexual reproduction especially observed in uh, rust so this rust produce a numerous small tiny uh, motile spores this these are all the small tiny motile spores are known as spermatia so this spermatium is producing from a flask like structure or a flask shaped structure the shape is known as spermogonia from the spermogonia this spores will come the spores are known as spermatia so this spermatia is actually formed on the upper surface of the leaf that is a secondary host so there is no need to confuse about it that i will tell you when we discuss in detail about wheat stem rust in wheat stem rust two hosts will be there uh primary host or major host is a wheat that is alt uh, second one is alternate host alternate host otherwise called as a secondary host that is a barberry so this actually spermatization takes place in the secondary host that is a barberry so generally this is flask shaped structure spermatia produced on the upper surface of a barberry we will discuss in detail when the basidiomycota where we discuss uh, various kinds of fungi that also paxinia will come there we will discuss in detail along with the life cycle so this spermatia will be produced on the upper surface and produce it from a flask shaped structure called spermogonium so this spermogonium uh, this small spermatia can be carried out by various agencies maybe sometimes wind or maybe insects or ants or water various kinds of uh, uh, agencies are involved in the transmission uh, transmitting to receptive hypha of opposite strains because here also opposite strains may required you can see here these are all small spermatia imagine so that is growing to the opposite strain that is a receptive hyphae of another spermogonium so which is present in somewhere so this point of contact where the pore will be dissolved uh, so these things will be get confused you nothing to worry just remember two things so this flask shaped structure which is produced on the upper surface of leaf that is called spermogonium where spores are produced spermatia this spermatia is actually carried out by wind or wind or water or insects that can bring out to the another spermogonium of opposite uh, strains that is uh, the two receptive hyphae so here uh, the union takes place that is the receptive hyphae of opposite types union takes place and the spermatization will happen so this kind of reproduction can be observed in paxinia graminis and podospora the last one is somatogamy it is not true sexual reproduction here vegetative cells or somatic cells are not actually is here there is no sex cells are involved in the somatogamy vegetative cells are actually combined it or hyphae that hyphae actually what will happen on the right side we can see this is actually somatic hyphae of opposite uh, strains that is a plus and minus strains there will be a small contact formed at the initial stages this small contact will become uh, you know like uh, like a passage so that uh, 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 that nuclei can be exchanged from up plus strain to minus strain or opposite strains here there is no true sex cells are involved since it is also known as pseudo mixes or no, not true sexual reproduction but it is classified under sexual reproduction only so morchella pisces and agaricus these are all the mushrooms that can reproduce by means of a mechanism called somatogamy this is in detail about uh, reproduction that is a uh, gametogamy gameta that is gametogamy or planogametic copulation gametangiogamy gametangial contact gametangi spermatization and somatogamy along with the diagrams clear representations are given here other kinds of uh, uh, terminologies also there that is pseudogamy pedogamy adelphogamy pseudogamy means a copulation between two vegetative cells where are uh, which are not closely related to each other so penipura sambusi and when it comes to pedogamy Uh, pseudo mitotic copulation between mature and immature cells uh, this kind of uh, reproduction can be observed in uh, yeast adelphogamy means uh, pseudo mitotic copulation of mother and daughter cells jegorinkus uh, chevaleris that fungi we can observe this kind of uh, reproduction and we already discussed what is uh, uh, that is a uh, Uh, trichogyny that is a fertilization tube so generally this trichogyny is a fertilization tube that formed between male and female 
if it mostly it is formed by male if it is formed by male it is called a fertilization tube if it is a formed or produced by the male it is known as trichogyny as i said trico means hair gyny means female where uh, male and female can be contact and uh, nuclear material from the that is gametes from the male can be exchanged to female Major, majorly this kind of uh, trichogyny formation can be observed in uh, ascomycota group of fungi only so the trichogyny in lichens if the lichen if the lichens are producing this trichogyny or fertilization tube it is known as teribraders normally we know very well sexual spores are otherwise known as meiospores example a oospore zygospore ascospore and basidiospores are comes under uh, 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 the sexual spores that can produce by a process called meios meiosis that's why it's called as meiospores so when it comes to asexual spores are produced by a mechanism called mitosis so generally juice spores conidia oidea spermatia microconidia and macroconidia can reproduce can produce by a mechanism this by a mechanism of this uh, asexual reproduction it is very very important fill in the blanks can be observed uh, from such kind of questions what are all the different kinds of uh, sexual spore that is oospore zygospore ascospore and basidiospore they can produce by a mechanism uh, through meiosis that's why it's called as meiospore also known as maybe fill in the blanks or maybe match the following or maybe mcqs we can observe such kind of questions for making you know Uh, confusing as such kind of questions we may expect for further information and other guidance uh, students can refer this book a vision into plant pathology complete student version which was published in two volumes in uh, kalyani publishers this will be very useful for uh, all kinds of students in ug pg and phd level related to plant pathology further doubts and clarifications uh, you guys can reach us the www.geekyresearcher.com stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers